Hello, McWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Battletech Advance 3062. Uh, guys, I figured out why we couldn't play the other missions last time. Obviously, we looked at the wrong thing when we checked the MRB. Obviously, we need to check our current faction reputation. And you can see we are liked with Liao, which means we can play up to four skull missions with them. We are indifferent with the Federated Sons, which means we can only play three skull missions with them. And when we take a look at Jade Falcon, you can see we are not able to play anything at all here. I mean, one skull missions. But hey, let's um, let's see if we can actually play Vorsteiner for the Capellans. Oh my god, I cannot cannot believe that I'm saying that. And maybe for Davian, so we can actually get to liked. And maybe we shouldn't go for all salvage in the next few missions, just to get some more reputation, so that we can then play the higher skull missions. That's the thing. Alright, that being said, I want to go to the command center, and we're gonna play for Liao here. And... As much as I hate it, we are not taking all the salvage in the world. We will take... Um, we will take... Actually, we can take all the salvage in the world, because we will get to the next reputation anyway. Right? Wait a second. Current faction reputation is 34. Friendly is 40 to 79. Ah, so, we need like 6 reputation until we get to friendly. Alright, currently we are here, we are liked. If we want to get to friendly, we get to get over the threshold of 40. And that is enough with this mission. I think this is okay, so we go for all of the salvage anyway. And, oh wait, and I need to wait for my night here, obviously, because we changed a little bit last time. And there we go. Beautiful, and now we can actually play the next mission. And I want to bring my new tank to the battlefield. I want to see how it performs, if we can actually get it. So let's get the carrier and let's get Ballista in. It's gonna be pizza on the carrier, and it's gonna be... Actually, it's gonna be pizza on the Ballista? What does it do here? Do we even have affinity? We don't have affinity on tanks, so I'm going to bring Herringbone on the carrier because most of the time he's not going to be in the fight since he's so slow and it's short-range weapons, and he can make use of his sensor lock ability then. However, our Ballista needs accuracy, and that's really good on pizza. Let's go. Also, she has the passive of extra damage, and I think evasion ignore or something. We'll check it out again in a second. So that's going to be amazing. Also, I'm not, yeah, I'm not taking my commander to the battlefield right now. I am very well aware of that. He's gonna sit on the bench and has... You know what? I I expect him to have a nice chat with Darius in orbit um, with a nice cocktail in his hands and, you know, just checking out the, the sensors and, and seeing what's going on down on the battlefield. And when the Mech Warriors are coming back home, beaten, sweaty, completely bruised and, and damaged from the battle, they're like, hey, good job down there. That mojito was amazing. I imagine that. All right. So... Let's go ahead and uh, play a capture base mission in the Highlands. Let me think. Capture base. Is this the mission where we start at the end of a lake? We have to cross the lake to the other side, and in the meantime, we are getting blasted by everything? And turrets? No, it's different. All right. Uh, that might have been destroy base. But still, here we are. It is a sea of green out there. All righty. We have a garrison going on. Sure. Waiting for the right to move. And we will play the reserve game until turn one. Perfect. What can I do for you? So, I'm gonna... Nope. I wanna use my artillery first. Because we know that something is down there. And we can use active ability, attack the ground. Oh my god. And just go. Boom! Copy that, Commander. No, don't scroll. Don't zoom on this guy. I need to see the deviation of this. I need to see the tiny numbers floating. Waiting for orders. Well then, I guess not. Oh, I was so hoping that we could get line of sight. Alrighty. Putting our bushwhacker to the front. These guys are not moving yet? Oh, they have not moved at all. Now that is interesting. Who was the guy with the additional sight distance? I think it was the Highlander, right? Hmm. Or was it the Nightshear? Receiving you. Could have been the Jir. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Receiving you. You have a rangefinder. Oh, that's it. On the move. Full speed. That's what I needed. That's what I wanted. I see a Hellbringer. I see a Glass Spider. Nice. Gauss Rifles. And a Grendel. Cool. Like the band, by the way. 
don't like my my current laser setup. Ugh. Target lock on enemy six. Should be a kill nonetheless. I mean, showing me his back like that? That's Tango, a dumb down. move. So cool, now that we have established line of sight, we can five. actually follow up on that and, and just go nuts. I'm gonna shoot everything here, and I'm very looking very much looking Roger. forward to my friend the Highlander. So by the way, the Hellbringer is filled up with heavy small lasers, a heavy large laser, ERPPC, LRM15, and an Ultra 5, as well as parts. That's a lot of weapons. I await your command. That's a lot of weapons. Sure, let's get into cover. I'm aligning my Max for a nice straight shot, but I think it's fine. What's up, boss? Alright. Let's move. Trebuchet going up here. I think it's worth going with standard ammo to deal a bit more damage. Actually, no. We will never really have a good time or good opportunity to shoot our extended range. It's good to shoot it now. It's fine. Ready to rock. Quick stepping it. Quick stepping it and killing it, hopefully. Now let's see how you handle this. That is what I wanted to see. Some criticals, ammo explosion and the lagging. <laughs> I love it. Ah, feels good being strong, don't you think? That is amazing. Something I can do. Yep, something you can do. Let's go down here and Let's move. do nothing. Alright, here we go. There's more. There's definitely more. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna use Glitch, no, getting into cover again, using her Bulwark ability, and we're gonna just shoot this guy to pieces. We got him. Hellbringer down. I think we even got engine destruction and not necessarily the component destruction. Two salvageable parts. Could be. Ooh, a Nova. Lots of heavy mediums. Oh god, this is the, the Alpha Strike Nova. It's gonna shoot everything and it's gonna overheat, but after that, or before that, he's gonna deal a lot of damage. Could attack it. Sure. Affirmative. It's fine. We're gonna do exactly that. Tag first. Pew pew pew. Nothing really happened. Reporting negative damage. Negative damage. Whenever he's saying that, I imagine that he is actually healing the mech, making negative damage happen. Affirmative. All right. What do we got here? Any active ability? Nope. Ooh, double hit. That's perfect. So, the funny thing about the Nova is that all of the weapons are on the arm, like all of them. Which means yep, ripping man. off that side torso makes it so that he loses half of his firepower. Oh, hello. The area isn't clear. Eliminate hostiles and secure it before proceeding to your. I know, objective. Darius. I know. I have already done it multiple times. Let's see how you like this. Oh, didn't rip the side torso. I actually expected that. Um, we don't get line of sight. Let's move into cover. And do we go for the Nova? No, we go for the Glass Spider. Affirmative. You know, there was another guy standing right next to it, so I wanted to attack it with a little bit of extra damage to the other guy. Still, two Gauss Rifles aiming at the Bushwhacker. One of them hit. I'm so happy that we got the Bulwark ability. Great. Good to go. Good to go. Let's go. On the move. Full speed. Okay. Oh, we get a side attack? I... I should have used sensor lock now that I think about it. I should have used sensor lock. Alright. Um, not shooting all of the lasers. God, this mech is hot. Confirmed. The side torso is still holding, only hanging by strings and cables, but still. Um, sure. Let's do it. I'm gonna go multi-target here. Shoot two of my missiles to this uh, Nova thing. And I want the glass spider out next because it's actually quite dangerous with the Gausses. They can rip my heads apart. There we go. All of a sudden the Nova is less scary. Beautiful. Ha, you like that? And we might even have the initiative to take him out before he can shoot. He's turn six. We have seven, don't we? 
No. But the other Nova is coming in with a lot of medium lasers of the you, extended range variant. Orders. Interesting. I want to take Waiting Geezer. Uh, sorry, Decker, actually. Decker. Sure. On my way. Going in from the other side, ripping the side torso. Let's go. Boom. And Nova is down. Hostile See, the best way to prevent damage is not giving them a chance to fire. Nice. I hear ya. All right. So next up is the Glassy Spider. Side attack, huh? I can't get cover, so I better get my uh -huh. my guns on point. That's it. Here we go. Hmm. Commander. All right. Unfortunate. Acknowledged. Let's try again. I mean, we still have a lot of firepower, but we just need to hit it, which we are not. Uh oh. Didn't hit. Can we please take uh, these Gauss rifles off the board? Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna stand and shoot this. Holy crap. Roger that. Good hits, but all over the place. Standing by. Oh, that's my sniper artillery. Can we shoot directly? No. The range of direct fire is very short. Uh, however, we can get in there with a lower hit chance overall. Better stay and shoot indirectly then. Confirmed. Mm, that's not enough. All right. Okay, that was bad. No, it was good. It was actually fine. You hit things. Ow! Double hit on my arm. Also Keep unsteady. Oh boy. For and there's a Nova. Wait, the Nova has not done anything. Oh no, it's fine. All right, cool. Ah! I'm panicking. Moving fast. Mildly. I need to reset all the weapon systems in the mech lab, and I didn't do it yet. So sensor lock ends my turn. That's the thing that I don't want. I want to attack him. Acid, 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 acid. Noise. Report critical hit. Waiting for orders. Okay. Yet again, this is a whole stand and shoot situation, and I want to make this count. Get wrecked? Think I hit something good. No? What? Affirmative. Right, Nigeria, let's go. Confirmed. Holy crap, Aroni. Um, sure. I mean, why not? Um, we're gonna move around a bit so we can attack both of the dude guys. Commander. Uh, we have an active ability, right? That's called target prediction. Should have used it beforehand. How long does it? This turn, okay. Remainder of this turn, so we gotta use Giza before everybody else. Uh, we're gonna maybe use it next time. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna attack the Nova. Maybe with the Gauss. Let's do it like this. It's three LRM-20s. There need to be some explosions now, come on. There we go. And the Gauss Rifle has a very big impact on the rather lightly armored mech that is standing there. Nice! Almost got him! That hit something good! That was amazing! Anyway, we have the facility. Oh, the Nova is going melee. Seems to be a charge attack even, right? Are you shooting? You're not shooting? Good to go. Wait, you call this a melee attack? Give me a second. Give me a second. Yes, you call this a melee attack? I'm gonna show you a melee attack. Attack! Move order received. Huh. Engaging. I love it. Man, the clan max the clan mag warriors shouldn't go melee at all. It's just not worth it. Alright. That hit something. Got him knocked. <laughs> Bow. That's a full nova. Oh boy. Cool. Commander? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move around a little bit, get braced, and we wait for the reinforcements to drop. Full throttle. Just, you know, setting up. Good to go. There's a derp ship coming. Is that my derp ship? Or is it an enemy derp ship? I'm not entirely sure. We got that. Alright. Um, I was looking at a 3D print that I have running right now, and uh, it made some weird noises right Moving now. Out. 
So Receiving. I think the print head bumped on something. Like it's like a small like a small imperfection. Good to go. There we go. On it. And there we go. I just tried to get the high ground right, here. Let's see if that's moving. possible. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements. Here they come. Oh, that's beautiful. We see a Grendel and another Grendel. And we see a Cougar as well as a Huntsman. As well as another Huntsman. That's solid. Ooh, that's not so solid. My poor carrier. Don't do it. Don't destroy it. Oh no. No, that's bad. Oh, will my new pilot die here? This is fine. The Niger can absorb a bit. Not a headshot, though. What do we have? Three activations? Oh, we might need to punch out, but I don't want to get rid of my large laser, my TTS energy, and my rangefinder. I want to keep that, so we have to bandage. That's a kill. I'm gonna need a medic. Yeah, you're gone. Fine. Ooh, this is rough. This is very rough. All right, we're gonna attack the Grandals first. Actually, the Cougar is a very good target, but doesn't have we don't don't have a good hit chance against this guy. I could, however, activate a precision strike. I'm gonna go for the Grandal. I was thinking about the Kuga because it is rather squishy, but the Grendels are as squishy as the Kuga almost. Huntsman, huh? Alright. Coming with pulses and LB2 and an LRM10. Yo, dude, this is too much now. Leave Behemoth alone. I need her. Alright. Yet again, my plan is to finish this before Behemoth is bleeding out. Let's also get three evasion. Acknowledged. Fine. Target confirmed. I was thinking about some kind of active ability right now. Honestly, I should use Giza's active ability. This round, it makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna wait for the last guy to do his thing, and then we're just gonna wait for Giza. Give him a turn. Oh, this is bad. Holy shit. I'm under heavy fire. This is really bad. Alrighty. Giza, where are you? I think you're turn three. You're the slowest of all of us right now. Let's go ahead. Active ability. Um, I'm gonna go target prediction. And then we're gonna just go nuts on trying to kill those dudes. And I will not multi-target, obviously. Huh. This is a good hit chance. I think this guy is... Yeah, we don't have direct line of sight. I think this guy is gonna be my prime target. I wanna make this whole weapon barrage be worth it, alright? So I'm gonna aim it at something where it has the most impact. It could easily take the Huntsman down completely. It didn't, but we got rid of some weapons. Reporting. So Reporting. aiming it at the Grendel would have probably resulted in a kill, but that would have been such an overkill. Didn't want it. Uh, cyanide with the pulse. Hmm. We don't have precision strike ready, sadly. Alright. Let me get some evasion. Let me finish this guy off. No! That's not what I wanted. Commander. Alright, Behemoth, you're fine. You got like three activations remaining. Uh, here's what we do. We will definitely kill this. Precisely. Right? Do we? No. I'm gonna go Vigilance. Let's get fired up. We don't need precision here. We just need volume of fire. Firing. Nice straight shot against the Huntsman. So we actually got something like a multi-target. Hey, got him. Cool. And then, Behemoth, you got the hell out of this. Get four jump evasion. Get a lot of heat as well. Affirmative. But whatever. I'm starting to cook. You're starting to cook? What's on the menu today? Um... Is it Huntsman? Is it Fried Huntsman? I think it's Fried Huntsman. Let's go Let's for go. it. I am not happy with the Cougar, though. This might be the right choice going for the Cougar here. Locked on target. 
Because he is very high on initiative, and I might be able to take out firepower. Maybe even kill this guy. Hit, Commander. So I don't want to give him a turn anymore. For Sniper artillery? Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, by the way, uh, sensor sweep. Sensor lock on all enemies within 300 blah blah meters. Um, we have some other active abilities, right? Intensify firepower! Losing the ability to move, that's fine. In exchange to gain 30 damage bonus? Let's go. Here comes the artillery. Taking the shot. <laughs> nice. I don't Looks think like we dealt... Oh, we might have dealt it. splash damage to the back of the Grendel there. Heavy hits, Commander. That is beautiful. So Cougar is down. I'm hoping that they're actually attacking the sniper artillery here. Because it can absorb a bit. So, there's a decoy. Go for it. Wrong decoy, but I'm fine. Ooh, this is scary. Good to go. Right, the Waka. The Waka. No. You. No. Maybe. This is a certain maybe. I want to get five evasion again. Do I want cover? I think I want cover. All right. Taking the Huntsman, ideally. I'm going overheat. I don't care. Hey, we got all the weapons down. That's good. And we got all the mech down. Nice. Down. So one guy that's not shooting anymore. However, there's another Huntsman, and that thing is now on Taking initiative. Ugh, the missiles. Who is it gonna be? We might lose the arm. So we lost the medium laser. That's acceptable. Alright. Waiting for orders. Alright, alright, alright. We got it. We definitely got it. You step into cover. You can also stay in cover. No, it's fine. I'm gonna do that. Not bad at all. Commander. Okay. Now we need to soften up the Grendel. On it. And we need to get a tag on this guy. I even use precision strike on this. We can do this! Great. So, why am I doing this? Uh, because I now need to follow up with the bigger guys. This guy is open, completely, and I have a Highlander that can easily multi-target him to death. Uh, but I don't really have a good position for my ATMs right now. Roger that. No, this is fine. Alright, so one high explosive, one standard missile. Precision strike, as I was saying. Fire. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Not a kill yet. I'm out of long range missiles. But he's pushed back one in any. Oh boy. I think I'm actually too close now. What's the radi radius of this? Tech ground. It's huge! Oh my god. Um if that deviates, I have a problem. Well, I guess I'm not shooting, huh? Hmm, give me a second. Uh, can we... No, no, no. Can we sprint? We can sprint and shoot machine guns. That's funny. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it for one specific reason. And the reason is I want to have a precision strike on this guy. Come on, Net Warriors. It's, go time. it's all about the initiative. Waiting for orders. All right, Behemoth, I want you to step in and hopefully get the Grendel softened up. You don't get it, I see. Um, so what we do is this. Hyper Assault Gauss Rifle, Medium Laser, Large Laser. This is gonna be a kill. It's just so many tiny impacts. It's just crazy. I love it. And that means our Highlander can now go completely nuts and all in. On the guy that's standing right in front of him. The Gauss Rifle has a problem with range, I seem. It seems. I seem. It seems. I don't know. Let me see real quick. What's about size delta, target moved, height difference? Ah. Alright. So we can try to get high ground in order to mitigate that. It doesn't. It doesn't mitigate. I'm gonna go precision strike and just go nuts. We can do this. Let's go. Kill him. Come on. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Down he goes. Who? Let's get out of here, guys. The headshot was unfortunate. The tank destruction was very unfortunate. 
Mission successful. And I just realized in a in a tough situation like that, in a dense fighting situation like that, our sniper artillery is not really helpful. However, it got the job done. It dealt a lot of damage earlier. It was cool. It was cool as hell. All right. So negative money, but that's fine because we're gonna get some salvage. Let me see what happened here. We got Behemoth out for 18 days. More importantly, uh, Fake Decker is... He got three injuries. All right, that's fine. 56 days. Let's see if we can actually re-salvage the tank. Uh, and here we go. There's a glass spider. There is a glass spider. I don't want the glass spider. We could actually cobble together a Grendel if we take multiple parts of it. I mean, it's a 40 tonner. I'd rather take the Hellbringer parts because they're actually quite valuable. Or we cobble together a Huntsman and just get some more stuff out of it. Novas are also an option. It's crazy. So is it a full mech or is it just a Hellbringer to get more, better, bigger mechs on the board? I don't know. Lots of medium lasers, Gauss rifles, balls, pulses, Ultra 5s, Clan, XL. Lots of heat sinks. There's nothing I need anymore. So how would we play this? We could take Nova parts anyway, because there are six parts on the board. There is a good chance we can take two more. And I think I'll take the H parts, because those are the ones with the heavy lasers. Let's do it. Here we go. Cougar, Glass Spider, Grendel, Hellbringer, Hellbringer, Huntsman, Huntsman, Huntsman. Only three. Nova, Nova, and that's it. All right, so got an ATM-6, ER medium, small, ultra-5, a bit of ammo, and that's it. Overall, though, 60 million in value. It really is a good idea to go to clan space and just mop everybody up here. It is so much money. It's kind of like easy mode. As soon as you got a decent traction on the field, you just roll over them. And you can just sell the max for a massive amount of money. And that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Um... By the way, are there, uh, they are quad mechs in the game, right? And they are super heavy mechs in the game, right? So, that would be interesting. Um, cool, we got like 2 million seabells. We have nothing engineered currently. That needs to be changed. I think I'm gonna go for more of these upgrades. Let's get a gym. Roger that, Commander. I like high morale. At this point, we don't need to worry about tech anymore because our refits, they don't matter really. Um, so we can actually skip the third mech bay and the, um, what's that? Machine shop. Uh, at some point I definitely want the training module, so, so I think next up is beta pods, which needs power conduit and structural reinforcement, so there are a lot of dependencies for some basic things that we have to do. Sure. Uh, another thing, uh, let me quickly check out. There is nothing on this planet that we can play anymore, but we are in good standing with the Steiner dudes, and we are in good standing with the Capellan dudes. Which means we can play up to four skull missions. And the Davians don't need much. We need like one more point of um what's it, reputation for Davian, and we can also play like four skull missions. That means we're gonna go to a planet where Steiner is prominent, uh the Capellans are prominent, Liao, and Davian. So let's do it. Let's do exactly that. Biome filter, store filter. Oh, by the way, have you checked out the store? Is there a black market here? There's no black market. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me check it out. Maybe there's a black market somewhere because I have a license for it. Store. Hmm. Hmm. That's not what I want. All right. So this is just being raided. This is... Uh, a three skull planet, it's Baker 3, we have Steiner, we have Liao, we have Davian, and I think it is a good idea to play for them. So that I have three factions that I can then easily access. I know it's three skull, um, but we might find something good there. Let's go. Also we can play against the wolf dudes again, that's cool. We might even find some timbers. I mean, not right now in a three skull mission, but hey, let's see. I've got the so... Financial report. It's just so easy to maintain. It's just great. I never have money problems in this. And it's kind of weird, right? For me, the guy who always has money problems because he always invests into toys and things to play with. Never has a seatbelt balance. 
It's crazy. But yeah, this is kind of my principle in video games. I mean, why would I need money on the bank when I can have things that make me happy when I click buttons on them? Right? This is why we play the game. Well, I play the game, at the very least. So, let's see. I think we might be able to squeeze in another hashtag quick mission. So, we will... We will see if there's anything good. Like a good old-fashioned battle. Maybe a duel or something. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, power down the Argo. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna lose some morale, but that's okay. I don't want to run into any risks here. Those upgrades you asked for Great. So we got the gymnasium. Next thing is here the power system. It's actually quite cheap, All but right. it needs to be done right. at some point. So better get it done now. Behemoth is actually coming back. Nice. Decker is out of action for a while. No, it wasn't Decker. It was fake Decker. It was the other guy. Harrington? No, what was his name? We've arrived at our destination, Commander. It's currently controlled by Jade Falcon, but Wolf will attack soon if we have good enough reputation. With one <laughs> or both factions, they may have a contract. I don't think they have. Right? The Wolves don't like us. No. But we can play something for Davian. It's a... It's a very well-paid assassination mission. It's called Big Hunt. No, Bug Hunt. Never mind. Uh, data piracy. It's a recovery. Recovery is good. I like it. That's a duo duel. Oh, let's play that. Absolutely. This is where we want to be right now. Alrighty. Um, before we do that, I want to check the store. Huh, we can get a Chaparral, an arrow tank, next to our Ballista tank that we already have. Just going in with artillery from the back line and the mechs on the front. We got light rifles, we got narcs, we got thumper artillery, armored cowl. Gives us more injury resistance and more head armor. That's cool. Um, there's an exchange of plus. I have the feeling they don't work properly. I don't know. It kind of feels weird. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but it felt weird when I tried it. But it could also be that a weird laser heat sink kit is just not working as I think it would work. PPC capacitator, that's cool. It's more damage with peeps, which means you can actually use them to breach cockpits, make them sniper uh, precision headshot things. Uh, but they also will generate more heat. So it's a trade-off for more accuracy. Like, no, not the accuracy, but the damage output. And if you have enough accuracy, you can make them lethal in an instance. That's really good. No, right now there's nothing I want to pick up. Quickly checking the hiring hall, because we might find somebody that we want to pick up. It doesn't seem like it. Nope, these guys are just mediocre, at best. That means we're going to pick two mech warriors and their respective mechs to bring to the duel. Let's go. Playing against the Falcons. Eh. I'll take the money, I guess. Do I, do I even need money? Maybe I want to pick some fancy here. You know what? It's fine. The Waka is gonna stay, the Hunchback is gonna stay, we're gonna take the big boys. Let's go. Highlander and Nightshare. I need Behemoth. There we go. And I need Geezer. And we are good to go. This should show them! Hopefully. I do believe that we will fight some heavies or assaults even. This is uh, in the range of possibility here. It's a two and a half skull. It's only two mechs, so all of the, the difficulty, all of the tonnage will be... Uh, distributed between the two mechs that we have here. Let's see. And I love duels. I, I know it's very, very inefficient to do what I do here. Usually in duels you take the money because it's just so much. But money is not a concern right now. And I just want to see. I don't want to give up on something that I really want on the battlefield. So it's a very quick way to get something. If you manage to get them without any casualties, of course. Because otherwise, you have to repair so much. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. Command interface initiated. Ooh, it's a hot biome. My God. What a hole. What a hole. Heading out. We have two unknowns. And we definitely going to reserve this year. Alrighty. I think I'll take Giza first. Oh no, we can't. Standing by. Gotta take Behemoth. Fine. I'll stay in cover though. On the move. We got a Royal Hussar. It's an ER Large Laser Light Mech even, right? Yeah, it's a 30 toner and the Viper. 
Am I a joke to you? Eat my hyper assault Gauss rifle. Confirmed. I was just hoping for some stray shots. I'm not gonna even use heat for this because they are so evasive right now. Alright, that's fair. <laughs> you got a single weapon that you direct at me. I directed a single weapon at you, so we can continue doing that, but I do believe I will win this. Uh huh. Confirmed. I'll do it. I'm rolling. I go all in. At the very least, we have a target that we can actually hit. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty fast anyway. And they might go for a nice melee attack. Uh, Hussar is a... Is it an Inner Sphere mech? I think it is, yeah. So it has decent ability to punch and kick. And they have initiative this round. Orders. Or they don't. I don't know. Whew, that hit chance. It's atrocious. I'm gonna stay here. I hope that they are not moving. Ah, come on, guys. Affirmative. Really? Ready to rock. Aw. All right, Giza. Target prediction. Let's go. Gotta move around a bit. Copy that, Commander. And we're gonna shoot around a bit. Here we go. So I do believe this battle is won by. Ooh, nice volume of fire and just the the war of attrition with all the missiles that we have. And the Hyper Assault. Oh, here comes the melee. Don't hit. Ah. Was that a charge? Are we losing everything now? Stability? Armor? Wow. That was a kick. Nicely done. Good news is, our knight here is now ready. Yes, Commander. And... He lost everything. No, wait, I lost everything. He still is... Uh, stable. Acknowledged. These little guys can actually beat me up. What's going on here? I think I'll shoot it like that. Or do I active pro ping? Nah, it's fine. Affirmative. Go away. I don't like you. <laughs> Yo, for some reason, I think we got a stray shot against the head of the Viper pilot. Because I think it said bleeding out here. Yeah, we hit him. <laughs> you just need to shoot lots of shrapnels in the general direction of your enemies and you will get things done. Okay. So those guys are on a timer now. No, don't do it. At the very least, it was the other leg. But this time, you only got like one evasion. That's good. These guys are beating me up. Not Damage cool. Minimal. Not cool at all. I like it though. It makes sense. I don't like getting critical. Alright. But I like Internal that damage. this is an actual challenge. It's crazy. Alright. Time to finish this. Let's go. Yeah, my hyper assault is not really in a good range for this. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna reserve this. Commander. I want to see if the old man can do both at once. All right, we'll stay out of the forest because I'm it. intending to finish this now. Here we go. That's one. That's two. Gonna shoot everything. Two missiles against the viper. Affirmative. Go, oh, goes to the leg. No. We could absorb it. <laughs> but it, I think this is done now. Yeah, it's fine. Ow. Cool. Viper is open, so which leaves it to criticals to order. our Hyper Assault Ghost Rifle. Let's Roger do it, guys. That. Let's go all in. Like, almost all in. Copy that. And we are going home. This was more dangerous than I expected it to be. All right. Almost lost something here. Mission successful. And that's what I'm saying. You better be ready to finish those missions, those duels, without any casualties. Otherwise, they are not worth it, especially when you're going for salvage. So, what would we pick? I have no idea. There was nothing good in here. Absolutely nothing. 
So... There's that. Royal Hussar, no thank you. Viper E, no thank you. Ferrofibrous Guardian ECM. I don't know, do we take some more ADM ammo? We have six bins of everything. I don't care about it. I'll take a Viper part. Ta-da! Two Viper parts and Ferrofibrous. Okay. Still good. I do believe we sell the Viper parts for more than we would have gotten the money... You know, uh, than more than the money that we could have, could have gotten from the mission. We could have negotiated for 900,000 sea builds. And we already sold our Pharaoh for 150, I think. So let's see, if we sell the Viper parts, what would we get out of this? Just gonna do the math really quick. Hashtag Barra Math. There we go. And uh, we go to the Mech Bay. So, these guys need a bit of repair, but that's gonna happen later. And that is the Viper, the E variant. If we scrap them, we get 590,000. So, technically we made a negative in terms of money, but not too much. So, overall, we are in the ballpark of, what, 750,000 Seabills that we got instead of 950. So, we made negative 200,000. Um, but we had the chance of getting something good here. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, and don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also support me on Patreon if you have a spare buck or two. The link is down below in the description. It says patreon.com slash And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.